Okay, it's Josh from Bomb and Lies. Just appeared at Tornsby local court, which is just down the road from where I appeared. Um, today I appeared on quite a uh, unusual serious matter, I guess. Uh, it was a mid-range offence uh, and uh, 0.120 was the reading. Unfortunately, um, our client uh, had a collision and of all things that he crashed into was a, another police vehicle. Um, now the collision wasn't huge, it uh, was relatively minor, small damage to the vehicle, but of all things it was a police vehicle, they quickly breath tested him and it was 0.120 the reading, so um, not a very uh, good or lucky day for our client. Uh, it was an early plea of guilty, he um, did the traffic offenders program, uh, got a letter from um, his parents and uh, his partner and an apology letter from him and uh, one uh, from his work explaining that uh, he does need to drive in order to um, perform his job to a degree. He works in a motorcycle uh, repair and uh, mechanical shop where he's required to do a lot of vehicle testing. Fortunately, his boss hasn't sacked him. He's already done about two months off the road. Um, so yeah, I mean, very, very unlucky incident. And um, our client um, has certainly learned some um, <clears throat> big lessons from this matter. Um, very out of character for him as well, because he's got an exceptionally good traffic record. I think there was only two very minor traffic infringements over the last 20 years that he's been driving and he does ride a lot of motorcycles which can be prone to getting a lot of more minor infringements um, so very good record very un out of character for him uh, highly unlikely this sort of matter will ever happen again for him um, we were able to um, persuade the magistrate to reduce the disqualification period to the minimum period of three months that was backdated to the date of the offense as mentioned it's already done two months off the road uh, he does have to do the uh, mandatory 12 month interlock program and um, he was given a heavily reduced fine probably due to the uh, damage he has to cover for the um, accident he was given a 450 dollar fine for the drink drive there was also a second charge of fail to give way which is why he actually made contact with the police and he was given a $300 fine for that offence. Um, all in all, um, we were able to reduce the uh, penalties quite significantly in relation to the fines and the disqualification and our client was uh, very happy with the outcome. Thanks for tuning in today. We've been here at Hornsby Local Court. I want to thank you for tuning into Borman Lawyers today. You can catch us at any of the usual social media platforms. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you've got any questions or queries, please don't hesitate to contact us on 1300 941 900. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into this video today. I really hope it was informative and helpful for you. There's another couple of videos below that you might want to check out that may be very useful for the process that you might be going through at the moment. Please feel free to like, follow, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we've always got fresh new content coming through all the time.